My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a piece of art on wheels right here and designated a full classic by the Classic Car Club of America. This is a beautiful car. It's been completely restored. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can study about 100 pictures, read all the specs, get the price, not only on this car, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Go to volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next ones that come out. But right now, top is down. Let's go for a spin and a full classic. 1948 Lincoln Continental. That's the last year of this design. Very few cars of the 40s were designated as classics. Mostly as the 20s and 30s. A true classic is something in limited production, something with a big price tag. It was like the cream of the crop were designated classics. Uh, and this certainly fits that bill. If you Google this car, they talk all about the design. It was art. Uh, it was recognized by the art community. Uh, just a stunning car then and it is still today. This is where the Continental kit all started, was the Lincoln Continental. That became a popular add-on. People would bolt on the back of their cars, uh, but this is where it started. Uh, this was restored in 1992. It won a uh, National First Prize Junior Award and Senior Award. So the restoration's 28 years old. I think it's held up remarkably well. I think this is called Regal Blue. The body's in excellent shape. The car is all straight, fits real nice. No rust or damage. There'll be a couple little imperfections or a nick somewhere touched up. But overall, the, the car is stunning. The paint's beautiful. All of the trim has been redone. I believe this is a pot metal grill. And uh, all the chrome's beautiful. And the headlight bezels and everything up here. The unique hood ornament, the emblems with the... You know, the paint in the middle there, it's all detailed out. Beautiful front end. Has actual script uh, emblems on the hubcaps that say Lincoln. The trim around the uh, rim matches the trim all along the bottom of the car. It has the same uh, Lincoln Continental type script here with red painted on the edges, just like the hubcaps. All the glass and rubber is all excellent. Check this out. Has a unique design, I think, only on the Lincoln Continental. Look at that red interior. I should say red leather interior. Not like today's cars where they just do the, the front of the seats in leather. This is glove soft leather in all of it. The back of the seats, the entire door panel, this is all leather. Glove soft leather on the visors. It's unheard of today. The tan cloth that you see here in the boot, it's the same convertible top as done in the tan cloth. It's all restored, has chrome uh, iron work. It's a hydraulic top. You may expect that, but back in the 40s, that was a big deal to have a power top. It's a hydraulic pump that runs the top and the windows, so it has power windows as well. Just look at that, all soft leather. And all the, the plastic, it's like a red... Not see-through, but it is a transparent plastic. The steering wheel, all the knobs, the power window switches, the knob on the end of the window crank, the button. It's all red plastic. It's all excellent. It's not old and brittle and cracked. Uh, this does have a radio. It has turn signals. Real nice carpeting. V12 motor. They run as smooth as can be. They say, quiet as a mouse in slippers. The motor compartment was all apart and restored. Uh, it still looks really nice. It has the Ford hoses and clamps and all the components. There's a battery shut off here, but all the components you can tell were apart. It wasn't just spray painted over. It's got the cloth wrapped wires, the hydraulic pump over there for the top and windows. Underneath the car is very clean. 
It's all cleaned up and painted black. Inside the trunk here is carpeted. Ugh, if I can get it open. Someone must have locked it. <laughs> I didn't think it was locked. All this trim is beautiful. Let me fire it up and I'll come back and open the trunk. Yeah, turn the key, pull a lever, push a button. It's like all secret knobs all integrated into the design, even the lights. And that's not even warmed up. We just pulled the car in here. You can't even hear the motor. It'll smooth, smooth out even a little bit more once it warms up. Great colors. I didn't mention, they made 458 of these total. Not 458 in these colors or with that option. 458 of these were made in 1948 convertible total. Open up the trunk. They come completely carpeted. Under the trunk lid, all the walls, it's all carpeted. There we go. Oh, I'm glad I opened it because I just remembered the jack is in here and it's in a cloth uh, pouch and it's also got a tool pouch with original Ford tools and it comes with a box of miscellaneous extra parts, tune-up parts, things like that. And it's all carpeted with bound edges. Beautiful car. Just open your garage and look at it. It is a piece of art, but imagine driving this car. You didn't see them on the road back then. You don't see them on the road now. Pull in anywhere with this car. Pull into a car show, your friend's house, your doctor's office, the golf course. This is going to be impressive. Go to volocars.com. Find out all the specs about the car, plenty of ways to contact our staff, they'll answer questions. Uh, we can help with the whole process, the delivery, the financing. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.